Hey guys, it's Emma Vigling with 2IT Politics. I am here outside of the town hall. Uh, we just saw the People's State of the Union, uh, which was a coming together of a lot of activist groups, a lot of progressive groups, uh, the Women's March, people fighting for dreamers, uh, union and labor activists, all coming together to talk about many prongs of the hashtag resistance. And this man, I don't even want to call him a man, but there's this man named Scott Pruitt. <laughs> been anointed the head of the EPA. He's suing them yesterday, running the show today. Since taking office, he's been a man on a mission to make sure we keep increasing our carbon emissions. He doesn't believe in science because he's paid in full, said the Paris Climate Accord. There's a silver lining in these struggles. That we get a gift by these very struggles. And the one silver lining in Trump is that we have created the mother of all movements. We have come together. It's a transformational, international movement of decency. Our eyes are wide open. I would say that this is a more unified message than what we saw in 2016. So look, the Democrats' message, it wasn't really unified. So it was basically, we are not him. We are not this monster. Now there were a lot of set principles that were discussed. We are going to protect dreamers. We are going to protect immigrants. And they talked about holding Democrats accountable too. Every single Democrat and every single Republican who does not have the spine to stand up to Trump's nativist, racist vision, hear us loud and clear tonight, their assistance will hold you accountable. The so-called President of these United States calls Mexicans drug dealers, criminals, and rapists. Authorities can stop and profile any Latin person on a bus in Miami and ask them to show their papers. In Texas, you can be pulled over at a traffic light and ask for your papers if you're Latino. Sound familiar? It should be because we first heard this in Nazi Germany. There's a lot of talk about 2018 and 2020. But for folks like Heather Heyer, who was murdered by Nazis in Charlottesville, for folks who are under the DREAM Act right now, who, which is going to be eviscerated by March and by March 5th and February and by February 8th, Congress will be up in a toss up as to whether or not to keep it or not. They don't have time to sit around and wait and, and to wait for a vote. We see how it's impacting communities of color in America, in our public schools, the criminal justice system and innocent bloodshed at the hands of those charged to protect us. They talked about uh, white supremacy and racism and, uh, and what happened in Charlottesville. Pro-labor, pro-union, discussing organized bargaining rights. The freedom to join a union is a fundamental right for all workers and it's a right we must protect. <laughs> Normal Ray, baby, Norma Ray, union. We have the Supreme Court, uh, which is bound to see a case in February that's going to argue on the Janus case where the working people are still going to have a voice uh, and keep their unions. We are um, under attack and under assault by the Koch brothers of this country and the millionaires and billionaires who want to keep every single dollar that they have and they want to do it on the back of working people. We are not standing for it, brothers and sisters. We are not standing. Economic justice was not left out of this event when it is sometimes easy to do so and sometimes Democrats and liberals tend to do so, uh, more centrist Democrats do so in their uh, grassroots events. This was not that. This was a unified hashtag resistance movement and I understand the skepticism. Uh, yes, uh, hashtag resist has been used sometimes to talk about Putin and Russia and all of those topics that don't affect Americans on a day-to-day -day basis. But 
This was everything. This was all of it under one umbrella. First and foremost, we need to make sure that special counsel Robert Mueller gets to conduct a thorough, unimpeded investigation of Russia's interference in our election. If Donald Trump tries to undermine this investigation or have his cronies fire Mr. Mueller, then he is himself a calamitous threat to American democracy and we must hold him accountable. I think Trump is a man who saw that the billionaires had control of our government on every level, state, federal, every level, and he saw, well, you know what, I'm just going to go from, like, I'm not going to be a part of either party, but I'm still a billionaire, and I'm still going to be a man who's doing business for the elite of the United States and not for the people. He manipulated all his voters. That's why he speaks the way he does, because he's talking to his base. And that's like, unfortunately, how his base wants to hear things. You want to know what the State of the Union is? Do you want to know? Yeah. The State of the Union is people are fired up. Yeah. People are awake and alive and organized and activated all over this country. Right. And listen, for too many years, I gotta say, before the age of Trump, for too many years, Good people all over this country talk themselves out of their own power. But in this age, people are recognizing their power. It's the people who make a difference. We saw that on January 21st, 2017, all over the country, didn't we? Trump has brought people together. It's the silver lining in this dark, dark cloud. Um, and uh, I think that that could be exemplified by the singular Trump protester who is filming me on some sort of uh, spy camera on his forehead. Uh, so a little pathetic and we're all having fun. <laughs>